Hello again. So this project was for drawing and the first thing we had to do was a cage of the torso. Since they didn't really specify what torso you had to use, I thought to use my good boy Markiplier. Haven't drawn him in a while, thought it would be good to pay tribute to him and his torso. I think this pose was very dynamic and I think I got the dynamicness of this pose. You'll see I was having a bit of trouble with the arm and getting that little piece of fabric, you know, that's kind of the negative space to be almost the same shape. I think I did well in the end. And then you'll see me adding on some final details. I thought of doing M's all over the pants, but then I thought, this is a cage of the torso study, I don't need to do all that. <laughs> the next one she said, draw this figure. So I went and drew the figure that was provided. I was having a little bit of trouble with the head and the general fact that some things are just kind of omitted, like a little bit of that belly space. But I got through in the end and went on to my next one. This is really just a fabric study. She said for us to study some fabric. So I did a whole nother figure because I felt like drawing people. Um, you'll see in the end that I kind of omit the person inside, but um, yeah, I tried picking something that looks nice. After I do the drawing part, I kind of go and I paint in the outfit instead of, you know, continuing on that drawing layer or anything like that. I thought, you know, that would be a better study because a lot of fabric is a lot of shadows. So you'll see me finishing up the outfit and then at the very end, I kind of just moved him with the other figures and put some shadow. In the end, I think my figures turned out great. It's simple, but I tried to keep the light coming from the same place in all the figures and it's funny. Anyways, I hope you're doing well and have a great day.